Sutra. At that time, the earth spirit, firm and stable, addressed the Buddha thus, Wound or not one, since long ago I have personally beheld and bowed to limit these numbers of Bodhisattvas, Mahasattvas. All of them have inconceivably great spiritual penetrations and wisdom that they use in taking across vast numbers of beings. Among all the Bodhisattvas, Earth Star Bodhisattva Mahasattva has made the deepest and weightiest vows. World honored one, Earth Star Bodhisattva has great affinities with beings in Jamuvipa, Manjushri, Universal Worthy, Samantha Bhadra, Contemplated the world's sounds, Avalokiteshvara, Varakwanin, and Maitreya. Also manifest hundreds of thousands of transformation bodies to rescue those in the six paths, but their vows will ultimately be fulfilled. Earth Star Bodhisattva keeps renewing his vows to teach and transform beings in the six paths throughout ends as numerous as the number of sand grains in thousands of billions of Ganges rivers. Commentary At that time, the earth spirit firm and stable, the Dharma guardian of this chapter, vowed to protect the Dharma. He addressed the Buddha first, warned or not one, since long ago, from the Middle East ends ago until now, I have personally beheld without removing my gaze and bowed to limitless numbers of bodhisattvas, mahasattvas. I saw a great number of bodhisattvas before, and I bowed to a large number of bodhisattvas. Mahasattvas are all great bodhisattvas. All of them have inconceivably great spiritual penetrations and wisdom. These great bodhisattvas all have great wisdom. One must have a great wisdom to cultivate the great vehicle. What is the great vehicle? It is an inconceivable state. Their spiritual penetrations and wisdom are limitless. The unfathomable powers that they use in taking across vast numbers of beings, they deliver all beings to perfection. Among all the bodhisattvas, earth star bodhisattva, mahasattva, all these great bodhisattvas deliver all beings to the shore of perfection. One among all bodhisattvas is Earth Star Bodhisattva. Among all the great bodhisattvas, he has made the deepest and weightiest vows. He said, Unless the hells are emptied, I will not become a Buddha. Until all beings are saved, I will not realize Bodhi. The power of this vow is particularly profound and substantial. World Honored One, Earth Star Bodhisattva has great affinities with beings in Jambuvipa, Manjushri, Universal Worthy, Samantapadra, Bodhisattva, Contemplator of the World's Sounds, Avalokiteshvara Kuan Yin, Bodhisattva, and Maitreya Bodhisattva, also manifest hundreds of thousands of transformation bodies to rescue those in the six paths. They vowed to deliver every being of the six paths to Buddhahood, but their vows will ultimately be fulfilled. Although the power of their vows is tremendous, it will be depleted one day, the day when their vows are realized. Earth Star Bodhisattva keeps renewing his vows to teach and transform beings in the six paths. He vowed to teach the beings in the six paths. Heavenly beings, human asuras, beings in the hells, hungry ghosts and animals, throughout ends as numerous as the number of sand grains in thousands of billions of Ganges rivers. The vows he made and the ends he lived are as numerous as the number of sand grains in trillions of Ganges rivers. Sutra World or not one, as I regard beings of the present and future, I see those who make shrines of clay, stone, bamboo, or wood and set them on pure ground. In the southern parts of their dwellings, they place within the shrines images of earth star bodhisattva, either sculpted or painted or made of gold, silver, copper, or iron. Then they burn incense, 
make offerings, behold, worship, and praise Him. By doing those things, such people will receive ten kinds of benefits for their dwellings. What are those ten? First, their lands will be fertile. Second, their families and homes will always be peaceful. Third, their ancestors will be born in the heavens. Fourth, those of the current generation will enjoy benefits and long lives. Fifth, they will easily obtain what they want. Sixth, they will not encounter disasters of water and fire. Seventh, they will avoid unforeseen calamities. Eighth, they will never have nightmares. Ninth, they will be protected by spirits in their daily comings and goings. Tenth, they will create many causes that lead to sagehood. Commentary The earth spirit, firm and stable, said, Won't honored one. As I regard beings of the present and future, I see all beings in the present and in the future. I see those who make shrines of clay, stone, bamboo, or wood, and set them on pure ground in the southern part of their dwellings. They place within the shrines images of earth store bodhisattva, either sculpted or painted or made of gold, silver, copper, or iron. Then they burn incense, make offerings, behold, worship, and praise Him. Come and gaze in adoration. For instance, Bodhisattva, when a man likes a woman, he will look and look, look and look again. Or when a woman likes a man, she will look and look, look and look again. This kind of looking is impure, consists of lust transform thoughts of lust into wisdom. Gazing admiringly at earth star bodhisattva with the purity of wisdom. This is the way to look. Do not look the way men and women in love look. Gazing in admiration is a pure and natural force. We say, oh, the power of Earth Star Bodhisattva's vows are huge. We should all believe in Earth Star Bodhisattva. Okay, let's all recite the Earth Star Sutra and bow to him. So let me send an Earth Star Bodhisattva home with you so that you may look and look, look until you become Buddhas, become Earth Star Bodhisattva. By doing those things, such people will receive ten kinds of benefits for their dwellings. What are those ten? First, their lands will be fertile. One, the excellent soil is rich and fertile. Anything planted in this piece of land will grow and be big. Land in Alaska is like this, growing extremely long cucumbers. That is fertile. Second, their families and homes will always be peaceful. Besides owning beautiful lands, they enjoy peace in their residence. What good is fertile land if the dwelling place is not peaceful? For these people, homes built on these lands never have to worry about earthquakes. So and so said, if I were going to Minnesota, she will come with me. How come she does not bother to ask her husband for his pre preference? She said, if I leave San Francisco, earthquakes might occur. So she wants to follow me to Minnesota. This benefit refers to everlasting peace in these individuals, families, and homes. Third, their ancestors will be born in the heavens. This means our deceased parents, perhaps as far back as those in seven of our lifetimes, will become reborn in the heavens. How come they will reborn in the heavens? It is due to your worshipping, gazing at, bowing, and believing in earth star bodhisattva. Consequently, our families and homes are forever peaceful, our lands are fertile, and our ancestors become reborn in the heavens. Fourth, those of the current generation will enjoy benefits and long lives. Some may doubt this. I will not necessarily see the deceased become reborn in the heavens. This may just be your claim. Do you want to see it? Cultivate. When you acquire the heavenly eye, you will be able to see. Now, let us 
Now talk about what you cannot see. Now let us talk about what you can see. Your parents were meant to live until fifty, but are now eighty years old. Or if they were meant to live until eighty, but are now one hundred, their lives are extended. I will tell you a true story. Fortune tellers told a lay woman's father that he will definitely die by the age of seventy-nine. He was afraid and came to take refuge. He took refuge with certain certain conditions. He wanted me to make him live another ten years. I said, "Fine, ten years, no problem." I made him that promise so that he lived until the age of ninety-one, another twelve years. I told him then, "I guarantee that you will live twelve more years if you listen to me and conduct yourself according to the teachings." Who knows whether what I said was true or not? But he did not die at the age of seventy-nine. He lived for another twelve years and died at the age of ninety-one. His wife and two daughters also became Buddhists. Everybody knows this story, but there is just a bit of uncertainty. Is this real? Fifth, they will easily obtain what they want. Those in in the present may enjoy benefits and longer lives. But that is other people. I do not gain anything by it. Now here is something that is good for you. Your wishes come true. For example, one thing that most people think is most critical may be a man or a woman's hope for a good spouse. He or she will get their wish. This is an issue for lay people. What about monastics? They will be good monks and nuns getting their wish. If you say I'm not interested in any of these, find something that interests you, and the related wishes will come true. Sixth, they will not encounter disasters of water and fire. They will neither be drowned or burned. They will not encounter any flood or fire. Out of the four great spiritual spirits. Uh, in the sky that I mentioned earlier, I forgot to explain too. What does the spirit of fire look like? Like a red sparrow with the only one leg, making it different than others. Although he has a name, he will not come close when he is called. He will run away instead. And like a spirit ball, we come running over when our names are called. So what is his name? His name is Fang Mian. When you say Fang Mian, he runs away. When you do not call on him, he will stay around and never leave. This is how strange this spirit of fire is. Let me explain the spirit of earth next. The earth spirit looks like a child with red eyes and long ears that drag on the ground. Have you seen a child like this? He is the spirit of earth. He also has a name. He is called Wang Xiang. It is difficult to encounter the spirit of earth when you do so. Catch him, cook him, and eat him, and become the next spirit of earth. Of earth. I'm not kidding you. All this is true. Seventh, they will avoid unforeseen calamities. There are no unforeseen calamities of various kinds. Calamities come as a surprise. And are unusual. Here, all kinds of disasters, things that you cannot imagine, disappear. If they will never have nightmares, people often have nightmares about being hit, killed, eaten by a tiger, or taken to see King Rama by the ghost of impermanence. For instance, someone sleeping saw a Kumbanda ghost sit on top of him. He could not talk. Make any sound or move his body. He was stuck there. Make offerings to Earth Star Bodhisattva or recite Earth Star Bodhisattva's name, and nightmares will not occur anymore. Ninth, they will be protected by spirits in their daily comings and goings. For instance, you were hit by a car that threw you more than ten yards away, but you walk away unscathed. You should have broken bones and all, but you get up and walk away from the scene. You do not even need to go to the hospital. 
Why? It is because spirits are protecting you as you go in, go in and out. Tenth, they will create many causes that lead to sagehood. That are these causes that lead us to sagehood. What are these causes that lead us to sagehood? Our summer session, for example, is a cause for sagehood. These six weeks, we focus lecturing sutras and speaking dharma. We work hard at cultivation. It is impossible to find around the globe another summer session as difficult as this one. If you do not want to work yourself that hard, you will not encounter a cause that leads to sagehood. So, this is suffering for you right now. It is a cause for sagehood. Sutra Want honored one, beings of the present and future who make offerings in their homes in the British prescribed manner will attain benefits like those. He further said to the Buddha, Won't honored one, good men or women in the future may keep this sutra and an image of the Bodhisattva where they live. Furthermore, they may recite the sutra and make offerings to the Bodhisattva. I shall constantly use my own spiritual powers day and night to guard and protect those who do that from disasters including f floods, fire, robbery, and theft, major calamities, and minor accidents. All evil deeds shall disappear. Commentary Earth spirit firm and stable called out, won't honor one, beings of the present and future who make offerings in their homes in the prescribed manner. Offering up an image of Earth stable at a clean spot in the southern part of their homes. They will attain benefits like those Ten said earlier. He further said to the Buddha, Earth spirit firm and stable told the Buddha again, Won't honored one, good men or women in the future may keep this sutra, the Earth Star Sutra and an image of the Earth Star Bodhisattva where they live. Furthermore, they may recite the sutra and bow and make offerings to the Bodhisattva. I shall constantly use my own spiritual powers day and night to guard and protect those who do that from disasters, including floods, fire, robbery, and theft, major calamities, and minor accidents. We talked about a car crash earlier today. A major calamity refers to death in that accident. A minor accident refers to getting a little scrap from a crash. All evil deeds shall disappear completely. The times are bad right now. Everywhere you go, lots of problems occur, be it theft or robbery, even robbery in broad daylight. Be careful with thieves. In China, there is a saying, hide your, your treasures too slowly, creates thefts. Make yourself too beautiful, creates lust. Hide your treasures because if you were to hide even just a bit too slow, bandits will be greedy at the sight of them and come rob you. Why would they rob you? It is because you hide your jobs too slowly, hence inviting robbers to mock you. This is how it works with our treasures outside. The same goes with our treasures inside. Hide the treasures in our inherent nature. Do it too slowly, then monsters, demons, and ghosts will come and rob you. Rob you of what? Rob you of your most precious treasures. But how can we hide the treasures of our inherent nature? The way to hide is different from, different from hiding some tangible valuables, such as a secret spot or a safe. How do we hide the treasures of our inherent nature? Avoid ignorance. Know that our eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind are all major thieves. Don't think yourself that your eyes have you. The reason that you are not a Buddha right now is because of your eyes. Not only are your eyes thieves, your ears, nose, tongue, and mind are also thieves. Your spiritual nature is the most valuable treasure. When your eyes take a beat, you have less of it. When your ears take a beat, you have even less of it. 
When your nose takes a bit more, you have even less of it. When your tongue takes a bit, you have even less of it. When your body takes a bit, you have even less of it. When your thoughts take a bit, you have even less of it. Unable to form pool in our eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind, we indulge them as they roam about, bothering with others' business. The eyes want to see everything a bit more clearly. That is to bother with other people's business. The ears are affected when they want to hear some useless chatter again. They act like thieves in this way. So do not let the six thieves rob you of your nature's treasures. If you obey your six senses, then the robbers of your inherent nature are stealing from you. You may not necessarily understand this idea that I am now telling you. When you cultivate for a while, you will know. You will realize how awful your eyes are, how disobedient your ears are. You will know that they are bandits, they are thieves. Make yourself too beautiful, create lust. Women make themselves up and dressing themselves beautifully create lust in people. It would be best if women do not make themselves up and just be natural. It is completely meaningless to make your lips all red. Living beings are mixed up in this fashion. The six senses are said to be thieves because we do not know how to use them. If you know how to use them, they are not thieves, but are dharma protectors. That is why the Suragama Sutra says that the six senses are the cause for transmigration in the six realms. However, if you can reflect and purify your mind, then you can realize Buddhahood because of these six senses too. It is not because there are other people helping you. They are dumb of protect protectors if you know how to employ them. They are thieves if you do not know how to employ them. For example, you remain mindful as you look, then your eyes are dumb of protectors. In contrast, you develop evil thoughts as you look, then your eyes are devils. This illustrates what great master six patriarch said. The devil is in the house when evil thoughts occur. The Buddha is in the hall, hall the hell when proper thoughts occur. The devil is in the house when evil thoughts occur. The Buddha is the hall is in the hall and the proper thoughts occur. Being mindful all the time makes your six senses your dharma protectors. They help you. However, when the eyes to trace after forms that they see, were the ears to trace after sounds that they hear, were the nose to trace after scents that it smells, were the tongue to trace after flavors that it tastes, were the body to trace after tactile sensations that it comes in contact with, then you have run away with your desire based on preference and wanting. Were the mind and culture drama and trace after the objects of drama, then you have no ability to concentrate and are affected by external states. Instead of proper mindfulness, the thoughts are deviant. Hence, you are affected by states. Conversely, if you maintain proper mindfulness, then you can influence states.